Good morning, everybody. Welcome to OptionPit.com, your morning vol report. It's I, Andrew Giovinazzi, Chief Operating Officer of OptionPit.com, welcoming you to, well, it is a Wednesday. It is snowing in Maine. <laughs> anyway, long gamma, owning premium. You never can make any money doing it. Don't do it. It never works. Blah, 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 blah. Only if you buy stupid stuff. So in this class, we'll talk about, you know, strategic buying of options, understanding, you know, what a really a cheap option or expensive option is. Um, also trying to figure out clever ways to pay for the positions. Um, it's a joke on the Option Insider Radio we do, you know, you want to get your juice for free. There are ways to buy contracts for you, you know, trying to figure out how to pay the freight on a position and um, you actually have some opportunity there. So, with that, that will be this Saturday sign up. If you sign up for our gold class, if our gold, uh, if our uh, become a gold member, you get all the Saturday classes for free, and you get discounts on our master class series when we put them. So, it's a good deal. Um, you basically you get everything in our store too. All right, uh, all basically ways to trade things, actionable ideas. Um, and understanding how things work with options. Okay. And with that, we will go on to the market. Uh, we're not quite down to the lows we had prior to the, well, let's just call it the snafu, whatever, the weekend, uh, <laughs> the Friday activity for volatility. However, um, we now are back to kind of, let's just call it the lows from last week. Um, part of the reason is uh, Apple earnings are pretty good. You know, um, the stock's up. Uh, it, it's not to its all-time highs. What is that, in the 130-something range, something like that. Um, it's not up there yet, but some revenue growth. They kind of left the stock for dead with no revenue growth. Um, and now apparently they have some. So uh, it's got a shot to make a little move. Volatility here very cheap. So we had a little trade in our strategy letter for this. Um, what I will wait to do is see, you're probably going to see all-time lows in Apple volatility in the next couple of days. So you want to get in and buy some juice now? I'm not quite sure. Um, at this point, I'm just kind of content to ride what we've got a little bit. However, um, they're they're giving they're they're pushing volatility to extremely low levels. Um, historically, um, that's usually a reason I want to buy. Again, that's another reason for our master classes, or I'm sorry, our Saturday classes. Being patient uh, about waiting to buy volatility. Um, Apple Vol at this point is very cheap. I think we look at all down the everywhere. A 60 day vol, 30 day vol. I mean, we might be seeing prices that we'll never see, never see again, right? Um, so, so remember at a, at a what is it, a 14 vol? Where are these things trading? 16 vol, 14.92. So this is this for Apple would be about 80 cents a day on average, breaking even somewhere around there. So it's extremely low. Uh, We'll look at time spreads and things like that in our chat room today because, I don't know, it's kind of hard to lose on them. <laughs> They're so cheap. Um, other than that, though, uh, we could see something out of Yellen today. Um, um, as far as rates go, is she going to try to kick rates up? Uh, surprisingly, which could happen, could send a shock to the market. Um, so just be be mindful of that. Be mindful of that could happen. Uh, she hasn't historically. Uh, she's been pretty measured on the rate rises. Um, and maybe, maybe they want to take a little heat out of the equity market. I don't know. Um, it's certainly possible. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we'll look at TLT. We'll look at gold. Um, we'll look at all of the, all of the rate sensitive stuff to see if there's anything there. We've, Gotten a bit of a, a, we had a little bit of a rally in gold yesterday. It seems to have subsided a bit. Um, and next, I'd like to look at, you know, Facebook. 
There has been some out of the money call buyers. This is obviously a little bit of a lift seeing good earnings out of Apple. So um, overall, like revenue wise, the big technology companies actually have delivered uh, Microsoft, Intel, uh, Apple now. Um, now we're looking for Facebook and Amazon. Um, so another one that should, maybe should be on your list for a cheap all candidate could be Cisco. That's something we could look at as well in the chat room. Just, just because you're just seeing such ultra low vol. Um, you don't need much of a move even when the vol gets crushed uh, to make any money. So I think that's the theme for today. Uh, lastly, if we just look at VIX and the vol products, you know, they're they're trading. Uh, we'll start to look at flies again down here. We looked at them yesterday. We held off. Maybe now that we're starting to get a push down again, uh, VIX is back into the mid-11s. Um, and with this kind of equity action, Again, it's hard for it's hard for it to hold up unless we move. That's the bottom line. So I don't expect much of a change in that direction. All right, everybody. And with that, I will see you all or some of you in our chat room later.